Hi there. It's Kathy at One Sweet Shop. Welcome to my channel. I was making little specimen cards tonight. And I like them so much and I thought, gee, I should make a video of these and show you how I put these all together. So, and I did a couple different types. So, I cut four more out and I thought, you know what, let's just... Let's just do it and um, let's make a couple more. So I found this really cute little stamp. It has a butterfly on it and you know, I, I won't get the whole butterfly, but you know what? I wanna get some kind of color on the outside of these little slides. So this one's gonna have a little bit of red. That's what I decided to do on it. And of course you can't tell there's a butterfly on it, but that's okay. I don't mind that. I just want a little bit of color somewhere just to have something on it. There, that's it for that. Put this away. Oh, how do I get this off of here? There we go. Without wearing all the ink. Now I got red ink on my hands. And on these ones, I did some brown. And on this one, I had done some green. But this one actually had a frame around the stamp that I was using, and I kind of didn't like that. So, so I'm doing red on this one. Now, let me flip this little file folder thing over that I'm using, just so that, there, we'll let that dry for a couple seconds here. Now, I have, I wanted to make windows, and I have these little pouches, and they're actually kind of a heavy plastic, and I thought I could use that. Maybe I could actually get two out of here. That would be cool if I could. Let me see. You know, I might be able to. If I cut it exactly in half, I might be get, able to get enough to get a couple out of there. Let me see. I should be able to. Right there. And let's see if I cut this one right about here. I think that's too long anyway. Hey, this one has a little fold. I could shove something inside there. I did not pair any butterflies this time. Oh, let's let's trim that one down. Let's see. How's that? I wonder if I cut the corners off, whether that would help. I'm going to try it anyway. Let's see. That, okay, that needs to come off. And then cut the corners. Now this is doubled up, so I'm going to separate them. I think it's doubled up. Yeah, it's doubled up. Okay. Oi, oi, oi. Let me see if I can get my finger. Oh, my fingers are covered in so much ink. That's okay. There we go. Oh, I got a little bit of glue on there. Because I was gluing my fingers together. Okay, let's get rid of this, this stuff in here. Now, I forgot to cut out some more butterflies oh my gosh let me see what i can do um let me see where's my butterflies i don't even know if i have any more small ones oh yeah i guess i do i could cut that one out there and there's some really tiny ones here these are so small to cut out though but you know what okay painful as it is i'll do it I'll cut out this little orange one. It might be a little big, but that's okay. It'll be easier for me to cut that one. And I'll cut that little orange one and maybe this little pink one. And this is a cute little blue one. I could do him instead of that one. No, I like that one. Okay, these ones. I'll do these ones. I kind of don't want to use those tiny scissors again because they're really hard to maneuver. But like, you know what? Let me try my big ones because... The big ones do work. Sorry, I had to peek up there and make sure I was actually recording. I have this habit of starting a video and then going, oh darn, I forgot to turn it on. <laughs> and then I'm sitting here for, whoops, 20 minutes making something. I'm laughing and snorting now. Um, and then I realized I never did have the camera on. And in fact, I'm gonna have to take a little tiny break and um, put um, the plug into the 
into the phone because yeah i think i'm almost at a battery life on it and it's probably gonna die on me but um yeah we'll get these cut out and i'll show you how i put them all together it was pretty pretty easy and pretty quick um i actually made two videos and i ran out of storage i had to that's how i got these all made and um so i put everything away and i decided that okay well i'm gonna free up some storage in my phone for a while and then i'd come back and i thought well you know maybe i'll make some more so that's exactly what i'm doing i'll have enough to um share a few and uh and put some inside of a journal or maybe in a little notebook or something could be kind of nice or clip to the page of something kind of like these i want to make some um, little flip i was watching um pam at the paper outpost and uh, she made these cutest little notebooks out of um recipe cards so Pam, thanks for the idea. I'm going to try that because I think it's really cute. And I have the cutest recipe cards that I um, hand dyed. And I thought, wow, there's the use for it. I knew I was hanging on to them for some reason. And I've had them for quite a while. I made them in the summertime. Sorry, guys, you're losing your antennas because I'm cutting them off. I had dyed these recipe cards in the summertime. And... Um, it ended up that I was going to use them. I think I was going to put them out for sale on Etsy at one time. But I've pretty much taken a lot of my tangible stuff off Etsy. Um, and I think I'm just going to do printables and maybe one type of paper craft on there. And I'm just going to save journals for maybe a, maybe a summer sale or something. Maybe I'll do that for summer. I don't know. I'm not quite sure yet what I have in store for my future yet. So I'm still making journals and I'm just putting them aside. And I'll just fill up a tote full of them. And um, I'm trying to reduce all the work I do. So just because I really need to take a break. So... I've been slowing down a little bit on some of the stuff that I do, but there's those. And I went and got myself a new ink and brush here because my other one was so worn out I could barely ink anything. So there we go. We'll get these guys all shaded a little bit with some uh, Distress Ink. And uh, it'll give them a little bit of a dimension. Give them that older, older paper look, older butterfly look. I've never been someone who was into poking butterflies into a card or something like, yeah, it's kind of morbid having specimen cards. I'm glad these are paper. Um, I just like, and you know, the funny thing was, is that I came home from work one day for lunch and there was two butterflies outside and I went, wow, already. And then all of a sudden it's snowing again. <laughs> so I'm thinking those poor butterflies are in for a rude awakening here. They're probably going, what's going on? Anyway, that's life in, in Canada. So let's glue these down, these little windows that I have. I'm going to put a little bit of glue and I'm going to get the little windows on just because I want to get them in place and give them time to dry a little bit. So I'm going to flip these over. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here just so it gets them there. I hope these work. I think they should. They're a little heavier plastic than what I used on the other ones. The other ones were just, I took a photo album, an old photo album, and I took couple pages out and I took the plastic off the pages and used it so and that worked just fine this is a little heavier so this is kind of neat this will be really durable put some more here 
and I hope these ones turn out just as good as the last ones. And hopefully I don't run out of storage space. That's kind of cute. Now, after this, once I put the, the little window in there, I'm gonna give it time to dry. I'm gonna haul out some of the, I'm gonna put these out so you can look at them. I haven't even dangled anything off the bottom of these ones yet. But I did go find my ball pins. These ones I did dangle something. I went and found my ball pins from some of them I put little labels on and I'll show you those little labels. I got these from um they were a printable and I've been printing them out. These are from uh Digi Digi, I think it's called Digi, and SVG is for you is what it's called. And I go there and I've I've bought a lot of label label type things because I really like them. Now, where did I put the crocodile? There it is, because I'm going to need to poke some holes. And I didn't do any holes in these yet. But there is some indents there where the holes should be, so I will do them. Now, this is going to need a little ink. Some of these don't have ink. These are the ones I think I'm going to hang, though. And uh, some of them do have ink, so they're okay. That one's inked. That's inked. That's inked. I don't think this one is. And I want to hang some of these. I have lots of them though. Tons and tons of them. Could even hang another butterfly. But, oh my glue is smelling bad. There's a long tag. I don't know if I'll use this one. Probably not, but oh well, I'll ink it anyway. These are inked already. There, just a couple. See if I've got, I don't know if I have any more really small tags. I should have maybe went through that little box. Here's something that's kind of a different shape. I'm going to cut this off here. I'm going to make this hexagon. Just because I like it. A little different. There. That would look cute on it. Okay. I need to put the lid on this for a second. Okay, ooh, it looks like the stuff is kind of flapping up there. That's okay. It's there. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. All right, so then, now that we've got our little window in there, we're going to pick how we're going to put our little butterfly on. We just need a little, a couple little spots of glue to hold him down. And we're going to give him a little bit of glue on both of his wings. And stick them in here. Oops, he might not be quite centered or anything, but oh well, that's all right. He's going to look good anyway. Oh, this is a really tiny one. I should have maybe looked for some little plants or something to stick inside with this one. Hmm. What could I do? We have a little mushroom. Nah. Nah. Let's leave him right where he is. Good enough. He's going to live there. And this one. Just giving him each a tiny bit of glue. To put him in place. He can sit there. And where's my last one? Right here. That one's a red one. Or a pink one. Okay. There we go. I have a tendency to really over slosh the glue. And then I've got glue everywhere. Like right there. That's okay. Okay, I'm going to glue it down. I'm going to give it a little bit of glue here on these sides. And we're going to glue it down. There's a little thing right there. Oops, there we go. I'm going to get it all down into place. Oh boy, that red ink sure shows up there. And I don't know if I'll put, I might put labels on these ones too. We'll see. Maybe two with and two without. Just so it kind of looks like the other ones we have there. Looks like I sloshed a little bit of glue in this one. What is in there? What is that, a string? Oh, there's a, oh, it was a glue string. 
it looked like a little slice in the plastic. There we go. Sometimes those glue strings just invade. Especially with this type of glue. Get little strings. Okay, here's some more. All right. So those ones are in there. There we go. I was a little more careful with the last ones. I made sure it was perfectly around the edges so it wouldn't have any extra glue. Like I got some glue in these corners because I kind of went round with it. But I'm going to live. So there we go. So now we can put... We can put little stickers on some of them, and maybe I'll use the two that I kind of sloshed the glue on. Maybe those two, I will put some little labels on. I could do that. This one says eight pounds. Maybe this butterfly was eight pounds? I don't know. Oh, there's a glue string already, and that one can have one there. Covered up that butterfly a little bit, but that's okay. I might find another little piece to put in there, but we'll see. So that's good. Oh, this one has to get squished down again. Just push them in there. There we go. Now... What else do I have for these? I have lots of them. Okay. Could put one of those in there. It looked like with another little butterfly on there. Hmm. Different. Let's see. What else do I have? Oh, I have a little thing that says life. Let's put that there. And I like that idea. There we go. And that one could say beautiful. Or let me see what else I have here. How about hope? Little inspirational things. Okay. So now. Let's take this and let's let's put a hole in here so we can hang our bulb pin. There. I guess we'll do we'll, we'll do all of them while we're at it. Well, I always blow in that little thing to get the little. So there, there's some holes there. Now what did I use those pins? Oh yeah, right here. Right here I've got more pins. Okay, so what I did with these is I went and found some little labels I liked. I think I like this number one this time. Put that in there. So when I went like this, oh, did I ink that? I didn't ink that. Okay, let's ink it. There we go. Okay, that one and then that one. And then let's put this little word beautiful in there. I kind of like that. Let's put that in there. And then I'm going to hook it up right here. And there's one there. Now, I could use another ball pin and hang another ball pin and have that hanging from the side of the journal or a paper clip on here. I have paper clips here. I have paper clips here somewhere. Oh, these ones are really big, though. That's probably not what I'm going to use. Uh, oh, here's a smaller one. Okay. And that paper clip, that would be great to just hang on the side of a journal. Here was a card. Here's a card. Oops. Here, let's hang you here. There we go. No, let's hang you here. There we go. See you longer. There. And that's how it would hang on a page. It's kind of cool. 
I kind of like that. Now this one, let's do this one. Um, I'm not sure where those holes were because they're not seeming to line up, but that's okay. Oops, I was a little off there. Oh well. Now this one here, I like this little saying about flowers. So I'm going to put it on there and I'm going to put one of these. And I think I want to do this one. This one says cherished. I kind of like that. So I'm going to put that on there and we're going to put this one on this one. Oops. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to ink my card. So let's do that. Oh, I forgot to ink the center of it. Oh, well, whatever. I guess I'll live. Here, let's ink this one too. I totally forgot to ink this up. And I love to ink things. There we go. I should have a... Where's a piece of paper? There we go. Let's do this instead. Just because you might be able to see better. Okay, there's that one. Find another little clip here somewhere. I can find one that's not a color. All of my all of my paper clips are colored. There's a silver one. There we go. That can go in there. And look at how cute those are with just a little dangles dangling from them. Okay, let's do these ones. This one here. Cute. This one's here. I didn't put any, um, I didn't put any, uh, little labels hanging from these ones, but that's okay. We can do some with and some without because we're going to dangle the labels from them anyway. Okay. I think I want to have the six because it's really big. So I think that would be a cool label. And this one too would be kind of cool in there. <clears throat> Maybe this. And one of these. Maybe this 50. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. I need to clear my voice. I I have a cup of coffee sitting here, but I haven't been drinking it. But I could use a sip of it. Here we go. Let's ink these. So these are actually so delightful to use. And um, I made a video earlier of the little template from Timu that I used. Just this in my cuddle bug. And... I've been wanting to make these templates, these specimen slides, for a really, really long time. And I finally, I got that little template in the mail, and I was just like on cloud nine, because it was like, yay, finally, finally I can do, what should we put on that one? Oh, here, let's put this one. There, let's hang this one on here, see what that looks like. Oh, that's cute. And then this one here. Let's let's do this one. And then let's do the circle. And you know what? Let's put the word tender. Just because butterflies are tender. There we go. Let's pop that on there. And there's another one. I don't know where any more paper clips are, so I'm not going to do anything with that. Now, these ones still needed some dangles. So, you know what? Let's finish them off since I'm working on them here. These two had some, so I'll show you what those look like. I'll move these over here. And this one had some. And I just did different words and stuff on them. I didn't do nothing really super, super special. But I'll pop some holes in some of these. 
some of them kind of look like they could be templates from little specimens. You never know, right? I think I'll do one in the center. Because I generally punch them on the sides instead of doing right in the middle. We'll do some in the middle. There we go. And there's one there. Oh, look, at here's a little triangle. Doing a little triangle off one of them. And then I've got the word nature. And I've got the word authentic. So, you know, let's use those. I like this nature one. Okay. And then there's one that says priceless. That's so cute, too. Okay. And here's another little triangle. I could glue this on something, but let's punch it instead. Okay. Let's take it. We'll do this one. Now this one, let's do this here. Whoops. And this here. And then let's... Let's do, whoops, let's ink that. It says favorite. I like it. Okay. And we'll put a hole here. And we're going to put it on here. And it can go onto this one. Right here. Cue it up. And that one's done. Okay. This one here is cute. I'm going to do, what with that? How about number eight? And, oops. No, not the, this. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's do this. And priceless. And then, let's do this one. Just because it's cute. Which one did I take that off of? This one right here. Okay. So now that one's done. Such a simple... Some, such a simple way of just dressing them up just a little bit. Okay, do I only have one left? No, I have a couple more here. Okay, let's do this one, which I forgot to ink. I'm going to put authentic on it. And I'm going to put this one here. Some of these are a little big, but that's okay because if I hang it from the top of a page, it's going to dangle anyway. It's going to dangle from that page. And here's some here. I've got three more to do, and then we'll take a look, take a look at the whole sets of them and see what they all turned out like. That one's nice. I'm going to put... Hmm, Let's put this triangle on there. No, we're going to use it as a back on something. Hmm, I need something small. Let's see, what do I got hidden under here? I've got nature. I don't want two of those. You know what? Here, let me put this in the background. And that up here. Yep. There, and nature. Okay. And I will hook this one to here. Okay, do that up. Let's see, what did it look like? Oh, I like that. Kind of not really thinking about it too much. Just grabbing a few things and sticking them on. Oh, I see one that says uh, inspired. Maybe I'll use that. Well, let's... This is bigger, so... Let's use this one and then this one. And let's put that one that says inspired on. Okay. That's perfect. Inspired by... Whoops! Oh, this one's going to hit the floor yet. There we go. Okay, one left to do. One left to do. Let's decide what to throw onto it. Well, let me see. What do I have? I Did I use nature? I use nature. That one says whatever. Um... Let's use a circle. Let's use that one. Put this one. And then this one. And then, how about gentleness? I like that one. Got a glass of gentle anyway. Here we go. Put a hole in it. Hang in there. Very simple 
simple decoration to make for your journals. Okay, now let's clean this up just a little bit. I'll shush all this out of the way. All right, so we got them all done. These are the ones that were um, stamped on the outside with the red. They actually turned out really, really nice. I really like them. Even with the red, I thought the red might be too much. But they turned out really good. They're going to look great in a journal. So I can pin them all together, maybe with a ball pin, just to hold them all together. And I'll hang them up. And then these are the green ones that I had stamped. Little green flowers along the outside edge. And then did the, the little uh, embellishments on them. Inspired, play, authentic. They turned out pretty good. I really like those. I like the yellow butterflies, especially inside them. And then these are the ones that I had done with the brown. And uh, that was like, uh, what was that stamp I used? Oh, I, I used this little stamp here, and it looks like a little ledger or something. And that's all I used on the outside, and I just turned it in different directions. And that one says nature. And I'm missing one, and I don't know where I went. Oh, here it is. This one says gentleness. So these turned out pretty good. These ones, I put some of the little um, labels actually on the little specimen cards. I glued them on. And I like those too. I like the way it turned out and the way it looked. So kind of work for that too. It's just something a little different. But anyway, I'm glad that you joined me tonight. And um, I was glad to be able to show you these. They go together so quick. I'll probably put together a whole bunch more yet just because I do have some more specimen cards um, cut out, but I'm going to shade them different colors and try some different things. And I hope to see you again. I'm going to make a video um, next. I think I'm going to be doing a video about uh, making little notepads. And I saw Pam at the Paper Outpost do it, and I love them. So I had this really cool these really cool recipe cards and I thought she had made these beautiful little journals tucks and I thought you know what I'm going to make some of those out of this because I just I had these they were sitting around and I thought you know I had coffee dyed them and stuff so uh pop in again and join me for the next video I post and it'll be with the little notebooks and you have a great night all right bye-bye